Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Market Review. I know I haven't done one of these episodes in a while, so I'm very sorry for those of you who have been expecting it. I'm very sorry you guys haven't heard from me concerning this aspect. And I'm sorry if you're hearing some noise right now, that's because it's raining heavily. So I'm shooting this video right now on a Saturday morning. So it's raining right now. But nevertheless, I want to make sure I get this video out to you guys as soon as possible. So, as you guys know, as some of you know who have been consistent with the markets, you know that Bitcoin has started recovering. In fact, the entire crypto markets relatively have started recovering a little bit. And um, if you guys also remembered at the beginning of this year, the first video I made this year, I told you guys that you guys should prepare for market pain. And now we seem to have the market recovering and all that, right? Now, the reason why I told you guys to prepare for market pain is because of news like this, right? So we have news like this that there could be a recession in 2023 and a bunch of other things to play into that. And I strongly believe that, yes, we could actually see a recession in 2023 because the United States Fed really wants the economy to slow down. And when the US economy really slows down, it basically affects the rest of the world. And they are doing this to be able to curb inflation, right? So if they continue to raise interest rates, which I believe they will continue to do, we could definitely see it have an inverse effect in the economy and cause a recession in 2023, all right? Now, that is what I believe. And I've seen a lot of reasons for that to be the case. And a lot of smarter people than me definitely see it to be the case as well. So even though we are having an increase in price movement in the crypto markets right now. I would basically say we should be cautious because this could be a fake out, right? Now, basically what a fake out means is that um, the market tricks people into thinking that it's going to continue going a certain way and then it's just going to turn around and go down. So in this case, the market is going up, right? So people who have been sitting down on the sidelines start piling up into the markets this basically starts driving the prices higher and then it gets to a certain point and then it just turns around and goes back down sucking all those people with it and those people sell the markets and then it drives the price down even further right this is what i believe could be happening in the market right now so we see bitcoin at twenty three thousand dollars we could see it drive back lower so i personally still am waiting for a twelve thousand dollars bitcoin but I do still understand that if we keep going higher and higher, we probably are not going to see a $12,000 Bitcoin, but we could see it head back down to much lower prices than we are right now. So that being said, let's just take a look at some of these cryptocurrency charts and see where prices could be heading to next and how you can prepare to take some profits and where you should prepare to buy the dip. All right. So first of all, we're going to be starting with Bitcoin, of course. Um, so we see Bitcoin came all the way from fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars right now currently sitting at around twenty two thousand dollars. So if you're able to buy the dip at around fifteen thousand dollars, good for you because that was certainly a great price to have bought the market. So where could we see Bitcoin head to next before we could see a possible turnaround in price? Well, um, we could see Bitcoin head towards twenty four thousand five hundred dollars. So if you are actually buying this just to take some profits, you should definitely look to take some profit at $24,500 because we could see a huge turnaround when Bitcoin gets to this certain price, okay? So, take some profit at $24,500 and then if you would like to get into the market again to just buy the dip for Bitcoin, at least in the near term, you should look to do that at $22,000. Now, if $22,000 doesn't hold, Another place to buy the dip for Bitcoin would be at $19,500. So you can certainly set some buy limit at $22,000 and set another one at $19,000. Like I said, I still personally see this as a fake out where prices seem to be going up. Everybody is hyped about Bitcoin going up. But then before you know it, it turns back around and goes back lower. Okay, so there are two places to capture the dip at $22,000 and $19,500 so basically it's up to you the one you want to do but for me personally I would be looking to buy the dip at $19,500 just so that I can capture the movement back up if it actually turns around and starts going back up towards $24,000 and then 
in the near term, look to take some profit at $24,500. Especially if you bought the dip already at like $16,000, right? You can look to take some profit at $24,500. Alright, now let's take a look at Ethereum. Now, you can see with Bitcoin, we certainly need to take some profit at $24,500, right? And the market currently sits at $23,000. But for Ethereum, we seem to have gotten to a spot where it would be appropriate to take some profit, which is at $1,600, right? So right now, the market currently sits at $1,595. So if you're looking to take some profit for Ethereum, you bought it at the dip of um, $1,000. You can take some profit at $1,600. That's actually a good spot to take some profit. So basically, that will be an approximately 60% profit that you're making if you actually bought Ethereum from the dip of $1,000 and you're looking for where to take some profit. That would be a good spot to take some profit if you want to take some profit as opposed to holding. But then again, since Bitcoin controls the rest of the market, if we see um, a huge push in Bitcoin towards $24,500, we could see Ethereum head higher towards $1,700. That could be a good spot to take some more profit for Ethereum. So you should consider taking some profit now if you want to at $1,600 and then as Bitcoin probably heads higher towards $24,000, we could definitely see Ethereum head higher towards $1,700 before finally turning back around towards $1,400. So $1,400 would be a good spot to buy the dip for Ethereum. Consider buying the dip at $1,400 for Ethereum and then taking some profit at present prices and taking some more profits at $1,700. So that would definitely be good for you to do for Ethereum as well. Now let's take a look at my favorite coin, Cardano. Um, now Cardano right now sits at $0.38. Cents. Um, I have been telling you guys to buy the dip for like so long right now. You see Cardano went all the way to $0.24. Cents and i hope you guys were able to buy the dip when it certainly fell towards that price i certainly did and i am basically still buying cardano every week and i will continue to do that for as long as possible all right so right now cardano fell all the way to 24 cents right now we're sitting at 38 cents and so if you're somebody that wants to for some reason take some profit on cardano right now it seems to have um slowed down at around 38 cents but as we see bitcoin has not gotten to the high where it's supposed to get to which is twenty four thousand five hundred dollars right so we certainly could see cardano get all the way to 42 cents before it turns back around and heads back lower okay so if you're looking to take some profit for cardano 42 cents will be a great spot to take on profit and if you certainly bought the dip for cardano um, at 24 cents this is basically going to be a 75 percent return on investment just between december and whenever it gets to um 42 cents that will basically be a 75 percent return on your investment so if you want to take some profit for some reason on cardano certainly do that at 42 cents and then um when the market turns back around which i strongly believe it will you should consider buying the dip at 34 cents all right 34 cents look like a very good number to buy the dip for cardano now obviously you guys know my stance on this i hope the market goes lower so that i can basically accumulate much more of these assets before the bull market comes so we could definitely see cardano fall back towards the 20 cents region and then i'll definitely be accumulating more as it does that but at the meantime in the near term what i see on the chart is consider taking a profit at 42 cents and then when the market turns back around consider buying the dip at 34 cents those are the numbers to look out for now let's take a look at algorand um now for some of you will know um algorand is another staking cryptocurrency as well and it's also not a bad cryptocurrency to hold as well it also offers you staking and i believe they offer about a 10 percent interest um rates on whatever you hold right and as you can see algorand has fallen all the way to 16 cents and currently rising towards 26 cents now if you bought algorand if you're a holder of algorand and you would like to take some profits you should consider doing so at 28 cents and um if the market continues to go higher we could still see the market head towards um, 36 cents for algorand so consider taking some more profits even at that price and then if you want to buy the dip for algorand the best price to buy it at 
is at 20 cents okay if you want to buy the dip for algorand buy it at 20 cents and if you really look at it um when the market goes higher right now we are sitting at around 20 cents right algorand has fallen all the way from three dollars okay so just like cardano algorand came all the way from three dollars and right now we sit at 20 cents so you can see how much return it will be on your investment just to get to the previous high okay so capturing these at the optimum spot is also still equally as important as even buying it today if you want okay all right so let's take a look at polygon um this is still on the top 10 of course and a lot of people are very interested in polygon as well i see polygon as one of those cryptocurrencies that are really going to do very well because it has really brought ease of use to ethereum okay the polygon network has really made ethereum very affordable to use and very easy and fast to use as well so polygon is definitely a good investment to hold in my own opinion not financial advice of course so we could see polygon at the near term um head towards one dollars and 25 cents so you ought to have bought polygon like at 90 cents or even at 75 cents when it was that low so if you like to buy the dip for polygon you didn't buy polygon on this one for some reason and you like to buy the dip consider doing that at one dollars okay one dollar is a good spot to buy this deal for polygon now if you see bitcoin head down towards nineteen thousand five hundred dollars which i believe which will okay i mean bitcoin might not head down towards twelve thousand dollars again but like i said if that recession comes into play we could definitely see bitcoin head lower maybe not towards exactly twelve thousand dollars but maybe revisit sixteen thousand dollars or fifteen thousand dollars or something close to twelve thousand dollars again right of course we could see polygon um head down towards even as low as revisiting 75 cents again or probably even lower but in the meantime in the near term if you actually would like to buy the dip just in case if we continue heading higher from here after we head lower is we could consider buying the dip for polygon at one dollars and also still setting another buy limit again at 93 cents okay so you can consider doing that just to capture polygon because obviously when the market starts heading higher for polygon we definitely could see it head higher towards three dollars again okay so buying it at those lows that's like um a 200 to 300 percent return on your investment right and obviously when the next bull market comes these cryptocurrencies are going to head even higher okay so a lot of people are going to make bank you guys should not take what i said earlier in the year for granted okay take this year very seriously in accumulating as much cryptocurrency as you can okay not financial advice if you strongly believe in this movement okay because i believe cryptocurrency is a movement and the world is slowly starting to accept and see that this is come this is basically here to stay i believe this is here to stay but people are starting to actually see that it's here to stay and like i said i've given you guys many evidence of that already in the past bitcoin has gone down in price multiple times this is between five and seven beer market that we are having in bitcoin right now in the overall cryptocurrency market okay how many do you know how many times people have said bitcoin is dead people have said it multiple times cryptocurrency market is dead this is not going to be any different from that time we're going to have this beer market and we're going to get out of it and guess what we're going to head to higher prices guess the people that are going to be rich from this people that have been buying these things when they were low at these ridiculous prices and guess what in the next beer market we would not see these cryptocurrencies at these prices anymore at least most of them we would not see them at these prices anymore so just buy as much as you can okay do it responsibly of course and also you should make sure that you have the stomach for it okay because we will definitely see we could definitely see these prices head much lower in price so i am certainly praying that they head much lower in price so that i can accumulate more as much as i can for the little money i have but you know you have to be ready for it as well you know you have to be prepared and you have to understand what this market is and you have to understand that it has done this multiple times in the past and guess what it's gonna do that multiple times again many much more time in the future all right so let's take a look at my least favorite cryptocurrency solana this is definitely not a blockchain but people still buy it solana has basically fallen over time and um, it fell to as low as eight dollars and if you guys bought some solana 
eight dollars i hope you were able to buy as many solana um tokens as you could buy because for those of you who still believe in this cryptocurrency that was a bargain and right now we are sitting at 24 dollars if you bought it at the low of eight to ten dollars you're basically more than doubled your investment right now so if you would like to take some profit off the table maybe your initial purchase of the token you can consider doing that at present prices or if you want to be more precise with it consider doing that at 28 dollars okay 28 dollars is a good spot to take some profit at that point you've basically almost made about um let me even calculate it if you bought it deep at somewhere around 10 dollars and then you take some profit at 28 dollars that is basically a 195 percent return on your investment okay so even if you wanted to still hold more solana token just taking let's say 50 percent or half money off the table at this spot that is still basically taking your original investment off the table and letting the rest to run because for some reason people are still buying solana and even though it's not really a great token to hold i mean people are still buying it people are still investing in it so at this point it's basically more of a trader's token in my opinion than an actual asset to hold but that's just my opinion so if you're interested in taking some profit of solana 28 dollars is a good spot to do that and then we could still see it rise higher towards 37 dollars okay so if we see bitcoin heading higher we certainly could see solana visit 37 dollars before it turns around fully and head back lower but in the near term 28 dollars is a good spot to do that and then if you like to buy the dip for solana for some reason you didn't buy the dip at eight dollars or nine dollars and you like to buy the dip again for solana consider doing that at 23 dollars 23 dollars is a good spot to do that and of course if you see bitcoin come back lower we will definitely see solana visit 20 um nine dollars again eight dollars that level which will be an even higher bargain to do okay so anyways that is my own piece to say on solana for those of you who are still interested because there's certainly still some interest in this coin all right so let's take a look at avalanche this is also another one that i can't remember the last time i covered it but i believe i would have told you guys to buy the dip at around um 12 dollars when last i covered avax okay and if you already bought the dip already at um these lower prices um and you would like to take some profit we are currently at the spot to take some profit for avalanche around 20 dollars take some profit if you want to take your original money off the table consider doing so at present prices for avalanche and um if you want to you know bitcoin goes back lower again you want to buy the dip 15 dollars is actually a good spot to do that buy the dip again at 15 dollars and the next spot to take some profit when that happens is at 30 dollars avalanche has like this wide gaps basically it has this wide gaps in prices before avalanche turns around in price at least based on what i'm looking at on the chart so the first one is 20 dollars so taking the profit we already did right now consider taking some profit right now for avax if you are interested in taking some profit okay like i always say you can either hold for long term if you know what these prices will be over time and you don't need the cash you can hold them for long term but sometimes it's also still good to take some profit just so that you'll be able to hold some cash to be able to buy the dip when the market dips again okay so if you're interested in doing that right now we're already at that price and then after we get down to 15 dollars if taking some profit you buy the dip at that spot and then we start turning back higher the next best spot to take some profit again is when it's double the price from 15 dollars basically at 30 dollars so that would be the at that point you basically doubled your money right at 30 dollars you can take some more profit at 30 dollars all right guys so let's take a look at dogecoin okay so it's still chugging along right it's still one of the top 10 cryptocurrencies out there look at these guys we still have dogecoin in the top 10 it's currently literally the number nine coin a meme coin guys a meme coin it's still number nine so if it's still holding when we are in a bear market okay you can definitely believe that this is going to make a lot of people a lot of money when it's when the ball when the bull market comes okay so that is why i still cover it now i'm saying that yeah you can buy it but what i usually say is do not put a lot of money into this and even with like ten dollars twenty dollars you can buy a bunch of it right this 
is a coin that you should not put a lot of money into it because at the end of the day it's still a meme coin right so it's just gonna do what meme coins do go up and then come back down in price but it's holding its ground well so it's clear that this meme coin is here to stay at least based on what i'm looking at for the beer market because one thing you should know that if in a bear market a cryptocurrency is still holding its ground in the top 10 cryptocurrencies out there you know that in the bull market it's going to really really perform okay so buying ten dollars worth of it twenty dollars fifty dollars you know however amount you want to buy what of it and just holding it is always a good thing to do okay like at these prices if you want to buy dogecoin you can buy some dogecoin at eight cents okay now if for some reason you want to take some profit for dogecoin you can consider doing so at 10 cents if you've already bought the dip already even earlier at six cents or something like that you can consider taking some profit at 10 cents but for holding long term the long term price still remains at i'm still targeting dogecoin to at around um one dollars okay but before then the recent the last bull market for dogecoin dogecoin hit a high of 75 cents okay around 70 cents something like that right so even just from these lows guys really look at it if you bought like even just 50 dollars or 20 dollars or 10 dollars worth of it from these lows okay just getting back to this high all right that is almost a thousand percent return on your investment okay so if you bought 70 uh, if you bought 10 dollars worth of dogecoin right now at the low of even nine cents okay by the time it gets back to even just 75 cents or 73 cents or whatever right you're going to be making 70 dollars on just that 10 dollars okay which was 50 dollars by the time it gets back to even its previous high that's about three thousand five hundred dollars right so i mean i'm not saying you should put it because at the end of the day like i said it's a meme coin i would rather hold other cryptocurrencies that i know that are doing cool things that for sure to go higher in price and stay there as opposed to holding a meme coin all right but you know once in a while it's still okay to throw some money into this because it's a meme coin and by the time it rises so high you're making so much money it's crazy right and you can then take those profits and then put it into the better projects buying the dip for it is at seven cents even at present prices it's still okay buy it especially if you want to hold it for like the long term right for when it eventually gets to a previous high and probably even surpasses that yeah just buy it at these prices honestly it really doesn't matter these prices are already so cheap and it's a meme coin anyways all right guys so that's it for this video um i gotta quickly go to edit this episode right now so i'll be able to upload it for you guys later today and um if you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to leave a like if you have any questions for me or any comments at all leave it in the comment section down below and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well and if you guys have not watched my previous video my previous video was on how to be able to basically you know bypass the dollar limit so there's a new virtual card out there and it works so definitely go watch my previous video if you want to you know make any purchases that is certainly above the 20 dollars limit we have right now certainly go watch my previous video sign up and start using those platforms okay so that's it for this video and i will see you guys in the next episode cheers